Your injury lawyer may be charging you for huge costs that they're not allowed to charge you for. Are you like Jim? Someone else is at fault and caused Jim to get badly injured in a car accident or slip and fall. He's considering hiring a personal injury lawyer or he's already hired one. And he's pumped because his attorney came highly recommended or has amazing reviews online. Jim decides to blindly trust his lawyer. Of course I trust my lawyer. I hired a lawyer, not a liar but there's something that Jim doesn't know about. Jim does not realize that many injury lawyers charge for certain costs, even though they're not allowed. And this results in people like Jim getting much less money in their pocket. Jim wants money for his pain and suffering. My pain, it's killing me. Ow! He wants his medical bills paid. He is scared because he knows that not being able to pay your medical bills is the number one cause of bankruptcy. And now he can't work so he's losing money. And with the recession, his finances are just getting worse. Without an income, he can't cover his essentials. And of course, Jim needs money for beer. Beer makes my life just a little bit better. Jim's health insurance company paid the hospital and doctors a lot of money for his medical bills. Even if you don't have health insurance, this story applies to you. Jim hires a lawyer who fights for him and settles his personal injury case for $1 million. Now I don't have to file for bankruptcy. God bless the justice system and personal injury lawyers. Remember those medical bills that Jim's health insurance company paid? Jim's health insurance company is requiring Jim to pay them back. Your health insurance contract often requires you to pay them back if you get a personal injury settlement. Or maybe Medicare or Medicaid paid Jim's medical bills and they're demanding that he repay them from any settlement. Jim's lawyer tells him, your health insurance company is demanding we pay them from the settlement. I want to hire a company to lower this amount. This company that we hire only charges a fee on the money that they save you. Jim says to himself, this won't cost me any money up front and I'll likely have to pay my health insurance company back less money. Let's do it, I've got nothing to lose. Jim's lawyer hooks him up with this company. Jim agrees to pay them for reducing the amount that he must pay back his health insurance company. Jim gets some good news. The company gets Jim's health insurance payback amount down by a whopping $99,000. So Jim now owes the reduction company 33% of the $99,000 reduction amount. Basically, the reduction company says that its fee is $33,000. This puts an extra $66,000 in Jim's pocket. This is because Jim now owes his health insurance company $99,000 less than they originally demanded. Jim is thrilled. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. He's proud of his lawyer. I've got the best lawyer in town. But there is something that Jim doesn't know and it is costing him a huge amount of money. Jim is not required to pay the $33,000 to the company that reduced his health insurance payback amount. Why not? Because reducing your health insurance payback amount is part of your personal injury lawyer's responsibilities. So what should Jim do? He can politely say to his lawyer, you're not allowed to charge me for this $33,000 fee. Now Jim can spend this extra 6,000 savings on whatever he chooses. I'm gonna go cruising. You see, in a personal injury case, his lawyers have limits on what they can charge you for. These limits are set by the bar rules of the state where your accident happened. A lawyer can only charge you a fee for reducing your health insurance company's payback if a judge approves it. And this can only happen after the lawyer has used their best efforts to reduce it. The example that I gave you is just one cost that a personal injury can't charge you for, but many do. The moral of the story is just because you're injury lawyer charges you for a cost, do not assume that it is allowed. Your lawyer can't charge you for certain costs even if their contract says that they can. Attorneys may try to charge you for many costs that are not allowed. If you really want to maximize the settlement money that you get in your pocket, avoiding these illegal costs isn't enough on its own. There are actually several other common mistakes that you must avoid. And I found that without knowing them, you just won't be able to have a chance at getting the big settlement money in your pocket that you're after. And that's why you shouldn't ignore this video here because it's going to show you how to avoid common mistakes so that you have the best chance at getting a big settlement.